Alsace, southern end of the Western Front, American 6th Army Group men edge their way into Oberhofen, near the German border. This town, like many of its kind, has been fought over for days. In its rubble-choked streets, skillfully placed German pockets of resistance have to be squeezed out one by one. What this sort of job demands of an attacking army can be seen in the attitude of these United States infantrymen and tank crews. Every cellar may be a foxhole for German rearguards. Each has to be cleared like this one. In the air, the same tough fight goes on. Was this the Eastern Front? Is that a Stormovic? No, it's Western Europe, where getting into an aircraft was only the smallest of recent snow problems. How to land three-point on an icy runway was a much worse job. On the British and Canadian front, the offensive launched southeastwards from the Nijmegen area smashes away into Germany. This region contains the first layer of the Siegfried defences. British and Canadian armour burst into the outer belt of concrete pillboxes in the teeth of stiffening enemy resistance. These men will soon be taking a good look around Germany. This little lot are seeing the last of it for quite a while. The most powerful British thrust converged on Cleve, northern anchor of the Siegfried Line. The speed and coordination of the attack were apparently more than the enemy bargained for. Though he very quickly recovered from the initial surprise, our men are hardened veterans in this type of close-up fighting. It should be made clear now, while the first battles for the Siegfried Line are being fought, what the penetration of this region means. It is a task calling for the last ounce of endurance, putting human courage and strength to the supreme test. Cleve and other cities like it had been transformed into bastions of the German defence system. In these circumstances, spectacular successes are almost impossible to achieve. Nonetheless, the magnificent teamwork of the Allied armies on the Western Front is playing a vital role in the win-the-war offensives East and West. The next generation will never swallow the myth of German superiority again. There will be no repetition of 1918. This time, the German army will not only be down, but out. The men who direct this operation, Field Marshal Montgomery and General Prerar of the 1st Canadian Army, are making a valiant bid to force that western door to Berlin. Berlin.